Greetings and welcome back to 7 Days to Die. So this episode I'm going to make a start on the outlines of my base. I just want to have a quick look at this guy's stuff and sell the loot I don't want from the last episode. So let's just get rid of all this crap. Don't know why I've got the paper, I'll keep that. Right, none of that was really worth a lot, which is a shame. A sale is a sale. Even if it's to a scumbag like you. You shut up. That guy. Ooh, I wish I could hit him with this club. Right, let's head back over to where I put my land claim block. And start thinking about my base. I doubt I'll be staying in it tonight. I don't know. I mean, it's three in the afternoon. Not sure I'll really have time to build enough to keep me safe through the night. I do have an idea about the um, shape of the base I want. I kind of got the idea of a someone's video on YouTube. But I'm not going to go for one of those kind of cheesy trap bases where you don't really have to do anything and all the zombies kind of just kill themselves. I don't really like the idea of that. And I'm not sure I really need to do anything too cheesy anyway if I'm on default settings. Because it shouldn't be too hard, I imagine. Right, how many wooden frames can I build? Okay, that's a lot. <laughs> I was not expecting that many. Let's just knock a hundred out for now. Right, excellent. Um, what do we want to do? It's going to be a pretty basic shape. Um, so I will go... Ah, I've got to clear the area first, haven't I? Okay. Not sure why it won't just let you build over these bushes and brambles then. It's a bit weird. Actually, I might be better off punching them, so I'm not damaging my axe. Not sure if it helps stamina-wise to punch them, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, what do I want? I want to go in this direction, don't I? So, let's just clear the path for where I actually need to go for the moment. Right, let's go 5-8, I think. Same on all the sides. Whoops, that's fine, that can stay there. Okay, that's just the basic shape. Well, I'll take those centre ones out eventually. And I'll make turn it into a square. Pretty um, unimaginative, I know. But I just want something that will defend me against the first blood moon. So I'm not going to be getting too fancy with it. Okay, that's that side done. I'm sure there are plenty of um, sort of fancy bases out there that people have built. I know in Conan Exiles people build absolutely epic buildings and they are absolutely fantastic, some of them. Spend hours upon hours building them. I mean, I've done a few myself, but not to the scale of some of the people you see on YouTube. Some of them are just absolute geniuses at um, building. Right, so that's the basic outline then. Let's just collect these few blocks. Okay. Excellent. Now this corner piece, I think I want to do something a little different. 
than just a square. So let's have a look at these shapes. Well, it's still not going to be too fancy. I just want to cut that corner off, make it look a little bit better if I can. What's this? Arch? Would that be it? I'm after a wedge, I think. Um, let me see. Oh, actually, I wanted these shapes. I've completely derped that up. <laughs> yes, I want these shapes. Oh, dear. Well, that shouldn't take too long to fix. I don't want them on the corners there. Okay then, so, I'm not actually sure what I want to put in the corner piece there, um, I might just leave it as a square for now actually, whoops, <laughs> right, let's try that again, I can't find anything that would actually match that shape, there may be one, but I'm not going to spend an hour out looking for it, so let's just put a basic square in there. Yeah, sure, why not? So, that's the basic outline of the base. Um, I may have put these the wrong way round again. The flat piece probably should have gone on the top, but... It is what it is now. Right, I want to go higher. Um, how high? One, two... Three... Is that enough? Yeah, let's go three high. Okay, so it looks like while I was building this up, I've got a wandering horde. So, you can see the basic design of the base anyway. This is, you know, just so I can um, deal with the first blood moon. Afterwards, obviously, it's going to be a lot more sort of intricate design. Well, maybe not intricate, just sturdy, let's say. Oh dear. <laughs> Come on guys. Come to me, don't hurt my base. It's actually getting kind of late now as well, so I do need to get the basics done on that base. Once I've dealt with these. <laughs> Right, that was actually a nice bit of XP. Not going to complain. So, um, back to building. So it's just hit 10 o'clock. Um, I think I'm going to risk staying in my base overnight and carrying on building and making some repairs and whatnot. Um, I'm still playing with the design because these full blocks in the middle, as you saw when I got a wandering horde, really got in the way. So I'm thinking a half block so I can hopefully still whack them around the side. Which I think, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try that. Let's just pick this one up and might as well do that for that whole block. 
Um, yeah. I'll try that, why not? Right, I need to try and squeeze this in somehow. Whoops, okay, I didn't want to do that. I'm s I am still find it weird that you, um, you adjust it with the left button and place it with the right. <laughs> Maybe I can change that in the settings, I'm not sure. That will do. really should have thought about that before I upgraded them. <laughs> in fact, let's build a couple of ladders too, just in case things go awry. Um, whoops, I didn't really want four, but whatever. <laughs> Three would have been plenty. I haven't done that block, have I? Oh. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. Let's upgrade this first. Make sure that's nice and secure. How much wood have I got? Not much. Okay. First tier upgrade only then for now. Let's get these ladders placed. I know you don't have to put them on the ground because it stops zombies going up, but that seems a bit cheesy to me, to be honest. But I don't know. I may do it later on. Um, so I can get up there and out now, which is good. So let's let's do the half block on here as well, or shall I? No. Let's worry about upgrading some of these first. The corners mostly. There we go. <laughs> now we can see. Okay. At least I'm getting a bit of wood back from doing this. But I do want to get this upgraded to stone as quick as possible. Which I will do tomorrow. Which will be probably in the next um, episode. Okay, that's pretty much sorted now then. Excellent. There's some eerie music playing. <laughs> there is actually the corner blocks at the... Oh dear, didn't want to do that. Yeah, these corner blocks need doing. What time is it? Okay. Um, I'm probably going to have to sit out the last couple of hours again. I mean, I'm not seeing any zombies around, but I don't want to risk being attacked. Okay, how many ladders? Let's build three. This is very much temporary. I won't leave these here um, tomorrow. Okay. I mean, this is this will do, this would do right now. To be honest, if I upgrade it to stone for the first attack, if my other playthrough is anything to go by, because the first Blood Moon really wasn't too bad at all. 
Okay, let's clear this area. Definitely needs more lighting in here. Yeah, okay. So. I will see you in the morning. So we're at 4 in the a.m. again. Which is a really way, weird way of saying it. <laughs> and I badly need to go and gather some more wood. Now. My ladders are there, and I'm actually going to show you... Ooh, what's this? Lead. Okay, more lead. Um, I won't be needing that quite yet. I need wood. Because, like I was saying about that drawbridge, I did actually find a way, in my other playthrough, of making a... Who's that? Of making a cheap man's drawbridge. Just because I don't like the idea of having to jump up to a ladder to get into the base. It seems just a bit too cheesy to me. So I've made a, a poor man's drawbridge, basically. I'm sure I'm not the first person to think of it, because it is kind of an obvious idea, but I just think it's a bit less cheesy than jumping up a ladder and, um, you know, not putting a ladder on that first block. And, oh, actually, I've just thought I levelled up as well while I was building all my gubbins. So I can put a point into... what was the other one? Yes, Miner 69er. That's the one I want. So that's... Craft Quality 3 Fair Tools. Oh, pretty cool. Right. So that means I can get a better axe then. And a better, not a spear, where's the shovel got? Oh, I haven't got any stone, that's weird. Luckily there's a big ass rock right here. Well, why aren't I using my <laughs> better hammer, uh, axe, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Now, let's knock a shovel out quickly. That's all the tools I've got for the moment. Okay, so I'm going to need a few more blocks, wooden frame blocks. So, I don't know, let's just, well, I'm going to need more later, let's just build 10. And I will need a couple of hatches. Right, let's have the entrance facing the town, I think. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So I want to go two blocks out, because I'm going to have a double row of spikes along here. Whoops. I am still not used to the buttons in this game at all. <laughs> let's go back to the basic square. So one, two, right. I want that three high. Cool. Now, let's upgrade this. I'll just go first here because I didn't get that much wood. And I do want to go back and get all that cobblestone that I collected in an earlier episode. Right, where are my hatches? Let's put, let's equip those. And fit to block, is it? On face, that's it. That's right, so one there and one there. So, cheap man's drawbridge. <laughs> like I say, I'm sure I'm not the first person to come up with that. Not by a long shot, but I did think it was quite a, whoops, a nifty idea. Now I need some steps. There we go, these will do. I'm sure fit to face will work again, or on face. Whoops, there we go. Okay, I didn't place that one. <laughs> So we have a nice little entrance now. 
with a drawbridge. Now, so I want to go and get a bunch of cobblestone and I need an absolute ton more wood to build my spikes and I can get my basic base upgraded. This as it is, well once it's upgraded to stone, should do nicely with all that being stone, a couple of rows of spikes, that should do me for my first blood moon. Let's kill this guy because I'm still hungry for XP. <laughs> Get clocked. Right. So, how much wood did I pick up? Still not a lot, but let's just get upgrading a few bits and bobs. Let's just do the corners for now. I've probably got a bunch of wood as well back at uh, my storage crate. Which reminds me, let's build a couple of crates. Um, let's go for three. I'll just plonk these down around the um, claim block for now. Ready for when I get my supplies. Okay, I can't put one there because of the torch. Let's just put them in a row here then. That's quite uneven, but okay. Now, what do I need to do? I need to get rid of those ladders on the outside. That should hopefully stop the zombies coming straight in. They've still got to beat down the walls. Okay, I'll just upgrade these um, main posts for now. Just an added bit of stability. Right. There we go. Now, um, I've only just got to sort of the point where I'm building concrete in my other playthrough. Oh, okay, I'm out of wood. So, I'm, st I'm still very new to the game. Still a lot I don't know. That's an iron node, isn't it? That's useful. Very useful. I wonder if you'll actually have a, um, a bunch underneath as well. Looks like it. Right, I'm going to mark that on the map then. Um, yeah. That's going to be very useful being that close to base. I'm guessing one of those lead ones will as well then. Now, where do I want to go? I want to find my old chests, don't I? Hello, Trida. What day is it? Day three. I think his stuff resets on... Was it day four or day six? I can't remember. Uh, how about I empty your pockets? Day four. Okay, so he's still not got anything new for me. I might actually just pick a job up while I'm here. Don't necessarily have to do it straight away. Oh, they're all quite far away. Um, no, I'll, I'll leave that for now. This is it, haha. <laughs> Strange I didn't search that before. Ooh, duct tape, cool. Now, can I carry all this junk? <laughs> Probably not, let's see. Oh, I can, right. I am maximum overburdened. Wait, I did, you don't drop stuff when you can't carry it, do you? No, okay. In fact, I will call it a video here. And I will make my way back to my base. 
and I will see you there in the next episode. So for now, goodbye.